Did you find each other in school? Did you find yourself on the basketball court? How did you all find each other first? That's what I want to know. In, in Philadelphia? Yeah. I, I'm from Camden originally. Jersey. I was born and raised in Camden. Okay. And, uh, Which is close, so, I mean, that's a sneeze. It's it's East, Philly. Yeah. East Philly. East yeah. yeah. Philly. <laughs> so, when I discovered Philadelphia as a, a music, a music, uh, Mecca, I call it, because Philadelphia was on a lot, was on fire with studios and production companies. Well, anyway, I worked for a production company on the second floor. Gamma worked on, the, was working with the gentleman on the sixth floor. Okay. So we ended up in the elevator at the same time this particular day, and I, I never knew who he was. We didn't know each other. Wow. So when Gamma walked on the elevator, he had a guitar. <laughs> now, I, you know, I'm I'm not too many words person so I don't know who spoke first I don't know how that conversation started but it started like uh, you write what do you do write songs so I knew he was in the music because he had a guitar yeah. you know but I didn't know to what extent you know right. so we found out each each other we wrote songs and uh, I was a, a, a struggling aspiring songwriter and we both were you know looking for how to get our songs recorded and uh, we ended up Gamble co- ended up coming over my house and I had the piano and uh, the first time me and Gamble sat down, we must have wrote about five or six songs. Wow. Very first sitting. So it was like a boxing match. You know, you're feeling each other out the first yeah. round, yeah. you know. So that's what we were doing. And so, but it was so good that we said, well, we got to do it again. And we kept yeah, doing it, it and good. kept doing it and wow. kept doing it. And the more we did it, the better we got. And now it's 50 years later. 50 years later. But then something else happened. And, and, down the road, some brothers, some young brothers from Gary, Indiana came to mm-hmm. They're known as the Jacksons. Well, they were known by the Jacksons, but you're kind of, you know, yeah. did some faking and angling there. Yeah. How was that experience? Let's start with that. Well, Enjoy Yourself. I've had that title, Enjoy Yourself. And we wrote that song because um, the Jacksons were, um, they were signing with Epic Records. And uh, we had tried to get them, but Epic outbidded us on them. And um, and funny part, we was working with Epic and Columbia at the same time, so they was they was like our competition. Interesting, you know. And uh, so when we finally worked with them, because we had known them from years ago when when they used to come to the Uptown Theater in Philly, and um, they were going through some changes because Jermaine wasn't with them. He had stayed with Motown, and the rest of them. You know, they left and went with uh, CBS. Mm-hmm. And um, so they wound up with me and Huff, and um, we wrote some good songs for them. And and uh, You we, Far Too Modest. Uh, yeah, we wrote some good tunes for them. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we're just getting to feel them out. We're just starting to feel them out a little bit, you know, because we were really busy at that time. We had the OJs, we had Teddy Pendergrass, we had uh, a patio belt. We had so many projects on hand. And, and this is when uh, Teddy was uh, solo, right? Yeah, this is yeah. when he was solo. This is around 77. Yeah. Somewhere around there, 77, the Jacksons came. And uh, so when, with songs like Let Me Show You the Way to Go and mm-hmm. uh, and Think About the Good Times and... Mm. and um, Got to Find Me a Girl. Find Me a Girl. That was a good one, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that one, <laughs> that one came, uh, um, I Got to Find Me a Girl. Uh, one day, me and Michael went up. He said, "I gotta get some sneaks," you know. So we walked up uh, <laughs> to Chestnut Street. It was only a couple blocks away from us, and um, we went in a store. Bought him. He was buying some sneaks, and I saw the crowd just growing outside the door. Sure. I mean, first it was three girls, then it was ten, then it was twenty. Man, it must have been about thirty, forty people that was outside the door. And so um, when we was walking down, uh, Michael said, well, what should I do with these girls? I said, man, you gotta snatch one of them girls, man. You know, I said, you gotta find yourself a girl. So me and we wrote that. Uh, that's where it came from. Yeah, that's where that that, that uh, title came from. You gotta find me a girl. And, um, <laughs> and Michael was a beautiful person. Yeah. And um, very, very talented. And, uh, you know, Man of War. You ever heard that one, Man of War? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the one that I that I thought was the 
that's the direction that we wanted to take them into. You know what I mean? And uh, I think Michael really loved that song too. Mm-hmm. And, and really, it's like a message song, you know? Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. For pleasure. giving us a moment of your time and yeah. for taking us back in time. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much for the gift that you have given us with music that will mm-hmm. last until the end of time. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back at BLS.